one. Okay, we're here in the shop. We've got a lot of people asking about voltage regulators, how they work, and how to fix them. So let's get right to it. We got this old 71 F100 right here, and we're uh, having some voltage regulator problems. We're gonna pop the hood, show you how to test it, show you how to fix it. So normally, your voltage regulator will go somewhere over here. And what you want to do is unbolt it, throw it in the garbage, because that's where it belongs, a trash can, and replace it with this uh, beer can right here. That, that does a lot better than the voltage regulator will do. But really what you want to do is get to an internally regulated alternator, which is right here. So then you can just plug it in. It's internally regulated. You don't have to worry about having a voltage regulator over here. So when, once you do this, put this Chevrolet alternator on, no more charging problems. Hey, it'll, Aaron, it'll charge the key to the ball indefinitely ball forever. Sorry, the, of course, you got to put the motor okay, and everything else in, but not a big deal. It's worth it to, to be able to run that one wire alternator internally regulated. So uh, we'll be back with you next week to show you some tips on uh, some Volkswagen diesels. So just check in with us, subscribe to us, let us know what you think.